Hey, welcome back to our application using Java Enterprise Tools. We're going to add a new feature to our app. Over here on the side, we're going to make another column, and we're going to make this the Edit Me buttons. So let's go and work on edits, and then we're going to create an edit form to make that happen. So let's go into the index page, and just like we did a column for the delete button, let's create another column. So I'm going to copy this and paste it, and this time instead of deletes, we're going to say edits. And we're going to create another method. So on delete is what was there. We're going to say on show edit. So we want to show the edit form and send it the current thing. Let's see, let's do edit me as the text. So it's saying here, we don't have this method. Let's go make it in the form controller. Let's go and try uh, using another method. So following the undelete command, we're going to add a new guy. Let's call it public string. And this time we're going to say on show edit. And we're going to take in a beautiful thing. So we're going to do a return. This time I don't want to just go to a response page. We're going to send this object to an input form. So let's call this thing the edit form. And it doesn't exist, so we'll have to create that in a minute. OK, so return doesn't get a capital letter. Let's go like that. So this is not going to actually perform the edits. We're just going to show another form. So let's uh, add a little bit of a status message in our console log. And let's say the object you plan to edit is, and we'll get the thing title, and send it to the edit form. OK, we need an edit form. Well, an entry form and an edit form are almost the same thing. So I'm going to copy all the text here from the entry form. And let's make a new file and let's paste our values in there. So this thing is called the um, edit form, XHTML. And I'm going to highlight everything, delete it, and paste it. So we've got ourselves uh, almost the same stuff going on. We've got an input form. It says, please fill out the form. Um, instead of that, let's say, we're going to say, please um, make any changes you like. And then we're going to go on and fill it out. There's one difference that you get when you have the edit form that you don't get from a create form. And that's the ID number. So we will have the ID of our object. And we're going to send it to um, the uh, update function. So the first item is going to be a hidden text item. So let's go H and I think it's called input hidden. There it is. And the value comes from our beautiful thing and it is going to be the ID. So that will be resubmitted back to the handler and it'll know which item has to be updated. Take all the rest of this stuff and then unsubmit edit comes here and we'll send it off to our database. Now looking at this I realize I made a mistake. This is called unsubmit edit. We already have the form controller called unsubmit edit. Let's go and make quick change here. It's not to be it's not supposed to be on submit edit. It's supposed to be on submit uh, create because insert one is our method here. So let's uh, let's kind of backtrack. I'm sorry about this. We're gonna say unsubmit create is the name of this previous work and that has to come from the entry form on submit create. Okay. So now we're back into editing, and we can use on submit edit. It's available to us now. So on submit create is up there, and we do not have the on submit edit. Well, we're going to use this as a model. So we'll copy this. So I'm going to copy the entire function or method I could should call it, and let's uh, change this. So on submit create is now called on submit edit. We get the uh, guy, we send him to the okay object you edited. 
And now down here, instead of insert one, we do an update. So let's go at ds dot. Do we have anything about updating? We do. Update one. All right. So the update is going to ask for the ID number of what we're updating. And then the uh, we're also going to tell it what object uh, is going to be useful. So I think we can just say we're going to take the, the value of our beautiful thing and get the ID and send in the whole object. And that should update it. And then the response page shows us what we updated. That's too easy. Is that going to work? Well, let's uh, run our index and see what happens. Let's see. We're going to run here, and there's an edit button. Well, let's go with uh, dark chocolate. We'll choose edit. And sure enough, it didn't work. We don't have an edit box going on. These are all empties. So if we look down in our status message, we're going to find a, a problem. Let's go back here. Try again. Let's try dark chocolate. And let's see what we have for a status. It says, the object you plan to edit is dark chocolate. So if it's showing here as the dark chocolate, why doesn't it fill in my form? Now I gotta go check out my form and see what I did wrong. The edit form. So the edit form looks good. Let's go in the form controller. So let's go down and check out our uh, show edit form. There's something missing here. Can you figure out what it is? We're not sending the, um, the value of our object, that our, our current object, we're not sending it to the uh, edit form XTML page. So there's, a, there's an insert command that we need up here from previous examples. And this is what we want right here. So I'm going to copy line 62 and 3. Let's copy that and let's insert it just before we return our function. So what does this do? It says take your current instance, insert or put in beautiful thing into the uh, submit button basically. And let's uh, save that. Okay, back to our index and run it. Let's see what happens. Now we're gonna try to edit dark chocolate and sure enough, it's working. Let's see if it'll update. So I'm going to type in very dark chocolate. Let's clear our console. When I click the submit button, no messages. No messages. Yeah, we're, there we go. It says row one affected. That's a good sign. We got a response page. Let's go back and back and refresh. And we have very dark chocolate. That is amazing. It worked almost perfectly the first time. I'm getting better at this. So now we have to uh, create some navigation buttons across the top of the menu here. And we'll probably do some templating to uh, save some of that code duplication. And then we're almost done.